financial statement analysis series where we are co concluding our talk on calculating financial ratios and then using those ratios to determine the health of a company by comparing a company's ratios within their industry. So in this part, we're specifically looking at the analyzing of stock investments. And we're going to be looking at three different ratios to determine this. The first one is the price-earnings ratio. The price-earnings ratio is the market price of $1 of earnings. So $1 of earnings for our company, what's it actually worth in the market? Or what the market price of, is of that $1 of earnings? To calculate this, we're going to take the market price per share and divide that by our earnings per share. So recall from the prior part in this series, we discussed earnings per share. And to calculate earnings per share, we're going to take our net income, subtract preferred dividends, and using that summation, we're going to divide the number of shares of common stock outstanding. That will give us our earnings per share. The second one we'll look at is the dividend yield. The dividend yield is the percentage of a stock's market value that is returned annually as dividends. To calculate the dividend yield, we will take the dividend per share and divide that by the market price per share. To calculate the dividend per share, we're going to take our common dividends and divide that by the number of common shares outstanding. The third one we're going to look at is the book value per share of common stock. This is the amount of equity that one share of common stock has in the company. To calculate this, we will take the total stockholders equity less the book value of preferred stock and divide all that by the number of shares of common stock outstanding. Now to calculate the book value of preferred stock, we'll actually take preferred equity and add preferred dividends. That will give us the book value of preferred stock. So using this new knowledge, let's calculate some for ourselves and then analyze them. So here is some sample data that I'm giving you, and I would like for you to attempt the three ratios we just talked about on your own. So if you, if you could, using this data, press pause on your player and calculate the price-earnings ratio, the dividend yield, and the book value per share of common stock. Okay, so hopefully you calculated the three ratios listed here using this bit of data that I've given you. So let's take a look first at the price-earnings ratio. So again, we talked about the equation we need. We need the market price per share, which they tell us is $16.50, and we need the earnings per share. So again, earnings per share we calculated in a prior part to this series, but we talked about it briefly on the prior screen. To calculate earnings per share, we need the net income of $60,000, less preferred dividends of 12,000, and then we're going to divide that by the number of shares of common stock outstanding, which they tell us is 80 shares, 80,000 shares. This gives us a price earnings ratio of 27.5. So what this is telling us is our stock is selling at 27 and a half times one year's earnings per share. So 27 and a half times one year's earnings per share our stock is selling. Compute the dividend yield. <clears throat> We're going to need our dividends per share, which in this case are 20,000. We have to divide that by 80,000 shares outstanding to get our numerator. And then we're going to divide all that by the market price per share of $16.50. This will give us a dividend yield of 1.5%. And what this is telling us is that 1.5% of the stock's market value is returned as dividends. So this is our return for owning stock, 1.5%. And then the book value per share of common stock. 
we need the total stockholders' equity less the book value of preferred stock. So total stockholders' equity, 780000 And then we need the book value of preferred stock, which we said is preferred stock plus preferred dividends. So in this case, 200000 plus 12000 And we're going to divide all that by the number of shares of common stock outstanding, which are 80,000 shares. This will give us a book value per share of common stock of $7.10. What this is telling us is that one share of common stock has $7.10 equity in the company. So again, to determine whether these ratios are appropriate, we would still need to do further research within our industry and compare that with other companies that are doing well within our company to see how we compare. In addition, you never want to, to uh, limit your investigation of a company to one, two, or three uh, financial ratios. You would really want to seek out other ways of determining a company's health. So please visit my website at web.me.com slash brianruth for more educational videos, lecture documents, and a blog. Thank you.